Well, Roan County woman embraced some unexpected house guests and that ignited a whole new hobby. 10 News reporter Sean Franklin finds out what all the buzz is about. Marilyn Maines has made a lot of new friends. Right up there. See it? It happens. That first one here on the right. When your home becomes a hive. I'm in the backyard. He comes and gets me and he goes, we got bees up there. 20 feet up there. Honeybees had built a hive inside the wall of her Kingston house. Then the housewarming party began. Ron Woody is the bee whisperer. Maines enlisted the help of beekeeper and county executive Ron Woody. The first thing we did is we did smoke. Woody and Maine's husband Lee cut the wall wide open while Maine's videoed the project for Facebook. My husband, you know, takes the sheetrock off and there was huge honeycomb. They installed plexiglass, creating a beautiful window into the hive. They have built all this honeycomb. See the white? We have granddaughters that are six, five, three, two, one. And my oldest granddaughters, the first night that we did it, they came over and spent the night, slept right there. Their mother was like, oh my God. I said, shut up. You know, they think it's the coolest thing, and it is. And so does beekeeper Barbie. With these three oldest granddaughters, they fight over her, so I'm going to have to get two more. <laughs> and Maine says her friends brought a housewarming gift. There's already some honey coming out, so that's, that's as local honey as you can get when it comes out of your wall. <laughs> Making her hive so, a home. And it's good for you. In Kingston, Sean Franklin, 10 News. Wow, that homeowner <laughs> says those bees are incredibly important to the environment, and so she's happy to help them survive. She says she's taking a new beekeeper class at UT next month for her new hobby. Wow, talk about embracing it. Absolutely, and I'm loving beekeeper Barbie. Yes. You know, being a Barbie <laughs> fan. All right.